Have no fear, the divine retribution is here. Winter 2020 anime season has blessed us with some of the best fight scenes in anime history, many of them coming from Jujutsu Kaisen, as well as Attack on Titan Season 4. But I'll leave Attack on Titan for another video. Today we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen, one of the most succulent and tangy animes that's ever graced my axons. If you weren't a fan of anime or you're not sure what to watch, prepare to be converted like a Greek to Judaism proselyte. Watching Jujutsu Kaisen with no prior knowledge or reading the manga, which is what I did, is like buying a lottery ticket with no expectation of winning. Like on a whim, you just decided to ha hash out a couple dollars just for a lottery ticket for the fuck of it, and then finding out later that you won and now you're a multi-millionaire. This story follows an extremely athletic high school student, Itadori Yuji, who doesn't want to do track because it's too much of a time commitment. He joins an occult research club to be able to have free time to visit his dying grandfather in the hospital. With his final words before he passes away, Yuji's grandfather tells him to always help people and to not end up with the same regrets that he had and to be surrounded by people when he dies and essentially not be alone. The only one who cares about Yuji's grandfather is Yuji himself as he is the only one present during his final moments and that's why Yuji's grandfather regrets not being more influential or impactful in his life. Yuji then meets Megumi Fushiguro, the Sasuke reincarnate except more attractive and has the best eyebrows I've ever seen in the history of anime, who is a sorcerer of some weird cursed techniques and warns him about a cursed talisman at school. Yuji realizes that the occult research club that he joined with his friends recently found a strange talisman and they go to rescue his club friends. Curses are explained to be creatures that are produced via negative emotions of human beings. Here we start getting to the pinnacle of the first episode. Oh yeah, this all of this happens in the first episode by the way. You get a first glimpse at the spicy ass animation style. Megami told Yuji to wait outside while he cleans up these monsters, but he wants to help people, and he remembers his grandfather's words. And then, just like a powerful hentai tentacle, the curse here decides to swallow this girl whole. But then Yuji comes out of nowhere with the forward air, and down smashes his fist onto this curse's head. Here Yuji has an epiphany that people really can die. The final moments of the first episode is where you see the real crispiness come out. These animations have so much definition it makes my eyes bleed. On the brink of death, Yuji decides to eat the finger. Here we see Sukuna come out. <laughs> Initially when you start the first episode, it doesn't seem to be too intriguing. And then shit starts going down, and you get molly whopped by some robust animations and glorious fight scenes. The plot unfolds and starts to draw you in like a lightning rod drawing in electricity. Every episode afterwards continues to shatter your expectations and makes you ooze in excitement out of every orifice in your body. There's so many epic fight scenes that it makes you wonder if this anime is going to start slowing down and fall off as the season progresses, but that's not the case. The characters in this anime are really well written. They're not two-dimensional spineless idiots with sad backstories for no purpose. The characters are unique and have interesting backstories that tie into the character and who they are, which aids in their character development. I especially like the female characters, the strong and badass, especially Nobara, who's got more confidence than a malignant herpes virus. The characters in Jujutsu Kaisen are four-dimensional. They defy the physics of anime tropes and unearth a new mathematical animation space that is a breath of fresh air. Jujutsu Kaisen has you on the edge of your seat every time Tsukuna or Gojo appears on screen. And if you're laying down while watching Jujutsu Kaisen, you'll feel like you're being dragged by your feet near the edge of your bed or couch to the screen like a paranormal activity exorcism. Speaking of edging, prepare to have an intense amount of fluids catapulting out of you when Gojo Satoru's eyes are revealed. The budget for Gojo's eyes are more than every Marvel movie made in the cinematic universe. His eyes are so crisp you can see the rods and cones. The animators over at MAPPA must be descendants of Zeus in order to be able to draw eyes with such clarity and purity. I never knew it was possible to encapture photoreceptor cells on screen, let alone in anime, but the animators clearly proved science wrong. Every fight scene in this movie is like a Michelangelo painting that's turned real. The shading is expertly executed. The contrast between sharp and thin lines makes me all tingly and moist. The sound design in Jujutsu Kaisen makes me feel like I was just isekai'd into an anime and I'm physically there watching the characters in person. 
Every punch or special ability sound effect has tremendously good timbre, and it matches up perfectly to the animation. Almost too well, in fact. It's a bit eerie. I'm a bit concerned with how good the sound design is. It should be illegal to produce this good of an animation. Jujutsu Kaisen does a really good job at having more fun, relaxed, chibi moments that are often intertwined with more serious moments. If this anime wasn't overpowered enough, even the baseball episode, which is almost a filler, although it isn't because it's still canon and is in the manga as well, even this episode is jam-packed with hardcore, penis hardening, fallopian tube throbbing, action that rivals any other anime. There's not only good humor, there's also massive character development, more character development in a baseball episode than half of the anime out there. This is quite concerning for the current anime meta. You know an anime is completely broken when even their baseball episode is fire. If I were to give a ranking for the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. The animations are so tender and juicy. There's a really good balance between fun chibi moments that are a bit goofy and lighthearted, and more serious times where shit's go shit goes down. This succulent anime holds high praise from me and will go down in history for probably one of the best animes that I've ever watched in quite some time. The Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie was announced to be released sometime in winter 2022 for Japan, so I am excited for that when it releases for US as well. If you were looking for an anime to watch to pass some time, I couldn't recommend this golden, crispy, moist anime enough. Jujutsu Kaisen is a masterpiece.